NBC Charlotte. Matt, thank you. New here at 5 o'clock, our Defenders team digging through new results from lead and copper testing at local schools. Tonight, we have learned CMS has now completed water testing at two more high schools. Those are Olympic High School and Myers Park High School. The latest results coming as part of the district's second round of testing. Defender Alex Shabbat has been following the developments for this story for weeks now. He joins us live. And Alex, did CMS find anything that parents need to be concerned about? Well, Brick, CMS says one of the schools came back clear, but the other did not, and now they've taken action. Tonight, we're learning more about what's in the water at Myers Park High School. The latest testing results show elevated levels of lead and copper at multiple locations. According to CMS, the kitchen sink at the football field visitor concession had lead levels at 22.6 parts per billion. That's above the state standard of 15 for drinking water. Another location at the school nearly 10 times the standard. The water cooler auditorium backstage had 140 parts per billion. All of it comes as part of CMS voluntarily testing schools. We just wanted to be proactive and step forward into the breach. And two other locations at Myers Park tested high for copper. A water cooler in the hallway nearly double the state standards and a water cooler in the cafeteria more than double the drinking water standards. CMS did not start posting results online until our defenders team began asking questions. I'd rather be beat up for that than to not have done it. Brian Kasher is with the Coalition for Safe and Healthier Schools. What the coalition is working towards is giving timely, complete, and thorough information that's meaningful to parents on a very quick turnaround basis. CMS says all four water fixtures at Myers Park have now been taken out of service. Meanwhile, the district says it did lead and copper testing at Olympic High School, too, but found no issues. And I'm told the results for the central administration buildings are expected soon, which will conclude the second round of testing.